Hello again, uh, I'm Yasser. Today we're going to be talking about lists and how we can use them to build ourselves a retrospective board. So what are lists? Lists are pretty much just sets of uh, record names and you could use them to, collect, to create a collection of all the records that have something similar. So for example, if in the case of this board here, what we would say is we'd have board one and it would contain a bunch of posters. So let's, let's just jump straight into code, the fun part. Um, what we have here is the basic scaffold. So what this means is we have a connection to a DeepStream server that's hosted by DeepStream Hub, and we're logging in with open authentication. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a couple of posters, right? Or actually, let, let's, let's start with first creating the board. So the first thing we want to do is create the board. So in this case, I'll say we have a board, and a board is a list, and we'll call it just board for now. OK, and again, very similar to the API that we have in records, if we do a when ready, what that will do is as soon as the actual um, list is loaded from the server, we'll be able to log the, actual, the content. But rather than using .get, what we'll do is .get entries. And what this will return is an array of all the record names within the board. So let's refresh and try that out. Uh, we have a syntax error. There we go. Perfect. So you can see here we have initially zero entries inside of the actual board. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subscribe to changes. So I'm going to say board.subscribe. Uh, this is going to tell me whenever anything ever changes, it should give me the new entries. And I'm also going to put the board on the actual uh, window object. So I could just start playing around with it directly in the browser. Perfect. OK, so hopefully this all is correct. That's great. So here, we're going to, what we can do is we could say we want to add an entry. And I'm going to call it post it to A. And what should happen is this will trigger the subscribe callback. So you could see that it did. And uh, we now the board actually contains a single one. Uh, if we remove it, which is board.remove entry, the same thing should happen again. And now we have nothing. But there's, we ha there's a lot like better APIs that you can use. So rather than having to subscribe to the entire entries and then figuring out what exactly changed, you can actually do this instead. So you could listen to stuff like entry added. Entry added would tell you whenever anything ever got added into the boards and what index it got added on. So let's try that. And index. Add. Similarly, we also have entry, uh, I believe it was removed. the same kind of API. So if we refresh this now, and we say add entry, you could see here that it said, OK, uh, post A was added at entry 0. If I add entry B, it does the same thing. And if I was to remove entry B, uh, it told us, OK, this has actually been removed. So this way, you can actually start monitoring all of the things that have been added and removed from your board. But how exactly does this match into your post-it board? So we want to build something like this, right? So let's actually take a look. The first thing that we want to do is we want to say, OK, we'll assume someone can add a post-it. And we'll create a function called add post-it. And we'll give it a post-it name. Actually, we, don't, we won't even use a post-it name. We'll just give it its uh, type and its content. So this is following from the previous uh, tutorial that we had on how to create records. So we'd say, OK, we have a post-it that would have client.get uh, record. But one difference that we're going to do here is 
what we had before is we said that we're going to give something a name such as post it A and post it B. The problem with this is you have to maintain those unique IDs yourself, right? And you have to make sure that they don't clash. Uh, rather than doing this, you could use a get UID function. And what get UID does is it returns a unique identifier every single time you call it. So let's, if we just run that in the browser, you'll notice here, every time we run it, it returns something unique. And these will never clash. And the idea behind this is, this way you can create lots of records, you'll know that they never actually conflict, and you can reference those records by putting them inside of a collection. So in this case, we would say board.addEntry, and I would say postit.name. Right, so let's try running that again. Can I add this directly? Yes, and I'm gonna say, not that we're actually setting the content right now, but we'll say glad and hello. And what you could see here is this has actually been added inside of the list in the first index. Which So this is great. So every single time I add a post-it now, you could say it's going to add a separate one, and then it gets added into the list itself. The final thing that we want to do is we actually want to say, how would this work if you actually load up the application and you want to show what's already there when you first start, right? So in order to do that, what we'll say is when you first log in, we'll get the entries and we'll loop over them, right? And on each one of those, actually I don't even need that, or let's say, yeah, for each one of those we'll um, We'll add the record itself. So in this case, we could say uh, const record is equal to client dot record dot get record entry, and then record dot when ready console dot log, and then you'd say the content itself, which would be record dot get. So what this means is when we first load the application now, it's actually supposedly going to print the content of all the uh, post-its that we already have. And every single time a post-it's been added to the board, you can then do this as well. So you'd say inside of here, you'd actually create it and it would show it as well. So now if I was to actually add one, uh, there was a small typo that should, okay that should then show you the actual thing. And that's, yeah, so this, this line that's being printed out here is actually the console.log that's happening. And then whenever an entry has been removed, you'd also in here want to delete the actual post-it. And that's really it. That's all the wiring you would need in order to create a collection of post-its and add them onto the board, get to the post-it and initialize your board when you first log in, and also um, whenever a post-it gets removed from the board, delete it accordingly. And yeah, that's it, and thank you very much.